Please join me, Dave Velasquez, Assistant Head of School for Alumni Relations, as we look back on the history of our school. Brentwood School was founded in 1972 as a nonprofit co-ed day school. Our seven-acre property was purchased from the Brentwood Military Academy, a proprietary institution which had existed since 1902 and moved to this location in the early 1930s. Back then, as you can see, no traffic issues existed on Sunset Boulevard and the school's only neighbors were coyotes and squirrels. The 7th through 12th grade independent school scenario in West LA in 1972 consisted of two all-girls schools, Marlboro and Westlake, one all-boys school, Harvard, and two recently founded co-ed non-traditional day schools, Crossroads and Windward. Brentwood filled the niche as a co-ed traditional day school. The only employee remaining at Brentwood in 1972 from the military school days was Tony the Cook, who lived in a small apartment above the kitchen. Many of us were a little scared of Tony, but behind his tough exterior was a very kind heart. The school, led by three executive directors, opened with 121 students in grades 5 through 10, and 15 faculty members, one of whom, Nicole Bally, who teaches Latin, is still at Brentwood. You might be wondering what she looks like now. Well, here she is. Chuck Downs, Brentwood's first official head of school, arrived in 1974 and lived in an apartment above the school lobby with his wife Peggy and daughter Cammie, a Brentwood student. This area now houses the school's advancement office and one large classroom. The school graduated its first senior class, number 11, in 1975. In 1978, the class included the first students who had attended Brentwood from 7th through 12th grade and 25 members of the class of 2008 were our first two lifers, having attended Brentwood from kindergarten to 12th grade. In comparison to the class of 1975, recent classes have ranged in size from 108 to 122. And on average, approximately three quarters of our graduating seniors are admitted to the most highly selective colleges and universities in this country. When I arrived in 1980, looking quite young and dapper, I must say, the entire administrative team, other than the head of school and director of advancement, was comprised of individuals who were all 30 years of age or younger, and the campus was comprised of a rather run-down main building housing administrative offices in grades 9 through 12. A trailer park, a far cry from our sustainable classrooms of today, served as what was then called our lower school, grades 7 and 8. What is now called Alumni Hall or Cafeteria was also used as our theater and gym. All school assemblies for a student body of approximately 400 were held in the North Quad. We did not have a gym. All home games were played at the old gym at Harvard School in North Hollywood. Since we also did not have a theater, all major performances were held at the Little Theater at Mount St. Mary's College. Our two science labs were far from modern and our library was a converted classroom. All traffic entered and exited the school by way of Leighton Drive, the official school address being 155 South Leighton Drive, and very little diversity existed within our student body or among our faculty. Early during the 1981-82 school year, Chuck Downs announced he would be leaving. Our board, a bit weary from dealing with the many ups and downs of getting the young school off the ground, was enticed by a merger offer from Westlake School in their effort to go co-ed. Our faculty, feeling that Brentwood would completely lose its identity, intervened and convinced the board to end merger talks. Subsequently, Hunter Temple was hired as head of school in 1982, serving until 2001 when Michael Pratt was named head of school. And on July 1, 2011, Mike Riera began his tenure as Brentwood's fourth head of school. The school's first capital campaign was launched and in 1984, the long-awaited and much-anticipated gymnasium, 7th and 8th grade classroom building was completed on the former site of the school's one tennis court. It was fascinating to watch this building being constructed as the major walls were first framed on large slabs, concrete was poured, and one day they were all tilted up to form the main structure of this new building. I cannot emphasize enough what an incredible impact this building had as it was much more than just a gym classroom building. It was a symbol that our young school was growing and that it indeed had a very bright future. After another successful campaign, Building for the Future, was completed in the late 1980s, our library, theater, science complex opened in 1989 on today's East Campus. In any school, the library serves as the true academic heart of the school. It took Brentwood 17 years, but in 1989, we finally had our academic heart. 
For years, our conditional use permit capped enrollment at 480. Today, after officially changing our address from 155 South Layton Drive to 100 South Barrington Place, closing off the front entrance of the school, and helping to finance the construction of a left turn lane and the installation of a traffic light at the intersection of Sunset and Barrington Place, the East Campus maximum enrollment is 695. We now find ourselves fully utilizing all of our classroom facilities, which presents a challenge as we add new courses and develop or expand both academic and non-academic programs. In 1994, the West Campus was born when the school purchased the Marymount Junior School Campus from an aging order of Sacred Heart Nuns. After having conducted an extensive marketing survey to gauge whether there was indeed significant demand for another lower school on the west side. Though there were many K through 6 and K through 8 options at the time, there was only one other K through 12 independent school on the west side of Los Angeles. Thus, our board of trustees made a truly transformational decision and Brentwood became a K through 12 school. Needless to say, we were flooded with applications. Our lower school opened in the fall of 1995 with a full enrollment of 300 students, and that remains our enrollment today. Brentwood quickly established itself as an outstanding K-12 school, and now our student body represents the widest definition of the term diversity. One of the most touching and special traditions is our K-12 opening of school ceremony on the West Campus, held each year on the first day of school. Picture the entire school gathered together 13 class banners prominently displayed, and our seniors walking in the procession holding the hands of our new kindergarten students. Another successful campaign fulfilling our dreams in the late 1990s provided the funds to build the Arts and Athletics Building on the West Campus, to remodel libraries on both campuses, as well as the 7th and 8th grade science labs, to add $2 million to our endowment fund, and to develop a 22-acre athletic complex fully completed in 2002. This complex includes six tennis courts, a pavilion with two regulation-sized basketball volleyball courts, a six-lane all-weather track, five fields, football, lacrosse, baseball, softball, soccer, and a small practice field, two bathroom facilities, a snack bar, and some much-needed parking. While we had enjoyed a very positive relationship with our neighbor, the VA, for decades, and had permission to use their fields and parking lots for numerous athletic contests and other events, the formalization of this relationship and the construction of these facilities had a truly profound impact on our school. Even West Campus families make use of these amazing facilities as do members of the VA community. Each June, alums return to campus for their 10, 20, and 30 year reunions. What fun for me. And I cannot tell you how many times I hear alums exclaim, Mr. V, this is not fair. The campus did not look like this when we were here. Of course, I agree with them, but I add, although there have been many changes over the years, and people have come and gone, the most important aspects of Brentwood, the warm feeling of community, and the close relationships between faculty and students, and among the students themselves, are still very much alive and well, and remain at the heart of what makes Brentwood School the very special place it is. Though there has not been a major capital campaign since 1999, the school has undertaken several capital projects during the past many years that have significantly expanded and improved the programs the school can offer as well as enhance each student's overall experience. On March 20th, 2003, a very special building project on the East Campus, our Student Life Center, opened. It's like a mini student union resource center to which our students have gravitated. The SLC is where many upper school students hang out before and after school, as well as during their free periods, breaks, and lunch. And it serves as the center for many special day and night events, among them the extremely popular Friday night charity coffee houses. The Caruso Watt Aquatic Center had its official opening on May 9, 2008, although on April 11th of that year, our first ever home meet was hosted at the school. The most exciting aspect of that first meet was that every swimmer who won a race that day set a full record. And this project proved true to the adage, build it and they will come as both our swimming and water polo programs have flourished since 2008. And I think you would agree that it was a much needed upgrade. During the summer of 2010, our gym and locker rooms on East Campus were completely remodeled with a new gym floor, new lighting, and a new sound system. Fresh paint, new CIF championship banners, new scoreboards, and new bleachers. In the summer of 2011, our upper school studio art room and North Quad were totally renovated. 
Our upper school students now benefit from a more modern art studio, as well as larger, better technologically equipped classrooms. And in December of 2012, four 600 square foot Gen 7 green modular classrooms arrived at Brentwood and were installed on the former site of our old pool. Constructed from recycled materials and powered by roof mounted solar panels, the classrooms in the Michael D. Pratt Academic Village, named in honor of our most recent former head of school, now generate enough energy to cover 100% of their electricity usage, making these classrooms LA's first zero net energy classrooms on a school campus. They are used for both middle and upper school classes. During the 2012-13 academic year, the school celebrated its 40th anniversary, a milestone marked by several very special events, including Malcolm Gladwell as our John Hudson Guest Lecture Series speaker, an alumni cocktail party attended by 300 alumni to which former faculty members, administrators, and heads of schools were invited, a Maroon 5 benefit concert in the Okia Theater featuring both the original and present band members, including alumni Jesse Carmichael, class of 97, Josh Dusick, class of 95, Adam Levine, class of 97, and Mickey Madden, class of 97, and Founders Day, an event which allowed us to honor and thank former school leaders, board members, heads of school, and senior prefects for their contributions to making Brentwood in just 40 years such a vibrant, highly regarded independent school. I must admit that I still get goosebumps at times when in the morning I drive down Sunset past the West Campus and onto the East Campus as so much of what I see before me was just a dream in 1980 and represents the vision, hard work, and generosity of our faculty, present and past parents, alumni, and our Board of Trustees. And you can be certain that we will continue to dream. The school and programs that benefit our students today are the legacy of those who came before. As you have seen, since 1972, the school has literally been transformed. As we celebrated the school's 40th anniversary, we were afforded many opportunities both to look back and to look forward. I ask you to just imagine what is possible during the coming decades. This is certainly an exciting time in the life of our school. We sincerely hope that in some way you will play a significant role in making Brentwood School even better.